Hi everybody, welcome to another 10 minute learning video. Today what we're gonna go over is how to set up your showing appointments using the showing time feature in MLS. So maybe um, this is your first time utilizing showing time for your showings. I love this tool. This tool basically is a free member benefit offered to you as an agent through the MLS. And what this tool allows you to do is be able to um, not only schedule your showing instructions um, for your listings, but it makes you a lot more efficient setting up your showing appointments for your clients. Now, as you are probably well aware, traditionally when we get our listings from our clients that they want to see, we usually spend anywhere from five to 10 minutes per listing setting up our appointments for our clients, right? So what this tool will allow us to do is quickly and efficiently set up our showings whereby we can actually schedule properties in less than five, 10 minutes. So we're gonna go over that today here just to show you how easy it is. And we're gonna do it in two ways. The first way I wanna show you is how to set up an individual showing for its showing instructions to set up an appointment. And the second way is by um, uh, doing a mass amount of properties, say maybe five, six, seven properties that you typically will need to do for a client. And that'll be utilizing a feature in showing time called the showing cart. So real quickly, how we do this is that we're gonna basically go into the MLS, we're gonna pull up our property. Say we pull up a listing in the MLS and typically at this point, we get the agent one line report. We can do one of two ways to schedule an individual property for our showing. How we do that is that we could either from the agent one line display select the property and under actions where we get to see our various different things that we can do once we select a property one of these choices says showing time so we can click on it here to schedule our showing or without having to select the property go into the listing itself and in the listing itself underneath the map choice here when we're looking at the agent full report there is the showing time icon right underneath the map. If we click on the showing time icon, showing time is gonna open up for the property. And now we can say, yes, I'm going to schedule the appointment for me and my client. I can now choose how I want to be responded to by the listing agent. So what's nice about this is that if I'm going out on another appointment, whereby I can't take a phone call and I can't read my email, I can deselect what I can't um, see at, as a response and leave in what I can. So in this case, maybe I'm out in the field and I can quickly look at my phone once I, an appointment has been confirmed, I'm gonna leave my text message feature up. Or maybe I need to be called, emailed, and text of the confirmation of the appointment. Now at this point, I'm going to schedule or come down below, agree to the terms of usage, very first time. And now I'm gonna schedule a single showing for this home. Now I'm going to be taken to the showing time calendar, whereby I get to see any appointments that have already been created by other clients possibly, if that's been set up by the listing agent. And you'll notice here that the blackout areas are times that I cannot schedule a showing. So now all I need to do is pick out a date and a time and click. From here, what type of appointment am I creating? In this case, a showing appointment. Because I requested the time, it shows the date and the time that I'm requesting the showing at 12 p.m. or 12.15. And because of my default set up for my profile of 45 minutes per appointment, it now says, here's an optional area of when is the latest time I'm going to be at the property. So here I have a 45 minute scheduled appointment between 12, 15 to one o'clock. Now I can shorten it or lengthen it depending on what my needs are. Maybe I just need to be there for 15 minutes or I need a full hour to get to the property and see the home. 
Now at this point, I'm going to select that this is a non-confirmed appointment, so I need to wait for the listing agent to respond to the authorization, and I get to immediately see any special instructions set up by the listing agent on their listing. In this case, beware of the dog, the owner needs at least a 24-hour notice for all showings. Well, today is April 15th, so I'm requesting a showing on April 20th. Now I can just simply hit yes, and now in three, two, one, showing time is now calling, emailing, and text messaging the listing agent the appointment request, to which now they will get my information based on my profile with my name, my phone number, if I've set that up on my profile, and now they can very easily and quickly respond with either a yes or a no of my appointment. Now I just need to sit back and wait. Now that's how easy it is to set up one property for one showing. Now, at this point, how often do you as an agent just set up one property for your showing? You probably set up five, six, or seven properties, right? Because your client gives you a list of MLS numbers to go and see for tomorrow. Well, we can pull up those individual properties. Maybe we use the um, speed bar to pull up those individual properties, or maybe we just pulled up a search. And here we get our list of properties. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. So let's run a quick search here. Active in Laguna Hills. So now at this point, we have our agent one line reports. Here maybe the agent wants to see six or seven properties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those homes. Okay. Now I could go into those individual listings and set up their own individual showings, but let's make this a little bit easier because, geez, I need to route my day from one property to the next. I need to be able to schedule these out. But instead of taking about five or 10 minutes calling and texting the listing agent, what I'm now going to do is very simply come down below and with the property selected, under actions, click on showing time. Now immediately, the system changes here and now I, again, can pick how I want my responses to come back at me. But now I'm going to choose the choice here, add to showing cart, and create a new showing cart for my client. When I do that and I go next, I'm now gonna pick out the date in which the cl my client wants to see these homes. Now when I pick out the date, I'm now going to just put in a description to help remind me who these appointments are for. So now I'm gonna type in my client under the description. And now when I hit okay, those properties are now being exported into the showing cart feature in showing time. Now a couple of quick things that we can do here real quickly is I need to route my day. So down below on my map, and we'll zoom out just a little bit, I can see how the properties are laid out on my map. Well, maybe I need to see a certain property first, second, third. Well, instead of me moving things around, what I can very quickly and easily do is maybe I need to see that number six property first. Come over to the properties in my showing list, click and hold, drag it above or below, and let go. In this case, I'm gonna grab the number one property, or number six property, move it to number one, and now I'm gonna click on Smart Route. So now all of a sudden, all the other properties are gonna be filed in based from the first, and it's showing order, okay? Now at this point, I'm gonna come over to the availability times and click on the addresses or click on the times that I wanna see the home. So maybe here we've got some properties that need an appointment required, but here we click on a property, we put in our times, we hit save, pick in our times and hit save. 
So, so far in less than two minutes, I have routed my day, I'm picking my times, and now in the upper right-hand corner, I'm gonna hit send a request. When I hit send a request, all six listing agents are called, emailed, and text the dates and the times that I wanna see the home. Now all I need to do is sit back and wait for the property or for the agents to respond. Now what's really nice about this is that I can now also email the showing instruction or email the properties to my client in the appropriate showing order along with the driving directions or I can print out these properties. But better yet, if I have the showing time app downloaded to my mobile device, with these properties in the showing cart, when I go into the showing time app on my phone, all I need to now do is tap the car icon next to the address, and now the address is automatically uploaded into my driving directions, and now I am being routed turn by turn through my navigator on my phone. That's how easy it is to set up your showings for your appointments through showing time. If there are any questions, please feel free to email me at Tony at T-O-N-Y at ocrealtors.org or feel free to give me a call at 949-586-6800 extension 104. Have a great day.